66 to 47, Robert Morris defeats Central Connecticut to move to 9 and 0 within the Northeast Conference. Adam Gusky now joined by Colonials head coach Charlie Viscalia. And Charlie, it was a 19 point win, but certainly not a whole lot to hang your hat on with this victory. Well, I mean, we played in spurts again. You know, we we had some good moments where we started to do some great things, but we never wanted to just continue to build on it. You know, I mean. You know, we won the game by 19 points. Most of the time you would say, you know, you played well and, you know, we played in spurts. You know, we got to be able to put it together for sustained periods of time. Um, you know, some good individual performances today, some, some good leadership out there in certain cases, and then, you know, some lackluster performances. So we got to put it together as a team. We can't have, you know, anyone missing out there. You know, whether you shoot the ball well or you don't, you know, you got to be out there focused. And, uh, you know, that's where we lacked for a consistent 40 minutes. Charlie, you touched on leadership and individual performances. We'll start off with Megan Smith, season high, 20 points, nine rebounds, good performance by your senior. She was real good today, um, not just because she shot the ball well, but her pace was real strong, and she did a good job of playing the game really free, and um, you know she, she took over when she needed to. Um, I thought she played a very complete game today. I thought Megan Smith was definitely someone that, that um, served today well and, and, lead it, and was a good leader today. So I'm um, very proud of her for what she did today on the court, and um, you know she gave us a steady balance. Off of the bench, Neka Zebo, double double. Yeah, the Neka was slow it for a while, and then she started getting it going after a while, and you know she started picking up her energy and picking up her pace. Some of those rebounds that she was grabbing and going up and snatching it, you know that's what she's capable of. And you know finishing around the basket for her is going to be big, you know, because she can get there and she's very physical and athletic, and she gets deep into the paint. She's got to be able to go up and finish those, and she started getting that going down the second half especially. So she had a good second half. You know, first half she wasn't real consistent, so you know got to come out ready to play. Got to be a little concerned with the perimeter defense today, especially with St. Francis coming up this upcoming Saturday. Well, you know, I, I, today was our next game, and, you know, we had a challenge and a game plan, and, and some of the times we were getting beat to the paint. You know, we were letting them touch our paint a little bit too much there off the bounce and sometimes passing it in. Did a real good job against Bryant with that, you know, and then today we, didn't, we got a little bit lazy uh, throughout the game. And um, we allowed them to touch paint so much. So, you know, we got to go back to the video and just, you know, look at what we were doing wrong and how we weren't guarding the ball so well. And if we were late in coming in to help at times or put ourselves in foul prone positions, we got to go back to that and, and we got to tighten that up. You know, we got to tighten some screws up here for sure, no matter who our next game is. Kind of a roller coaster of a season for the freshmen, and today was one of those downhill moments. You know, I mean, sometimes you're going to have those freshman moments, but, you know, a lot of the minutes have been out there now, and, you know, we got to learn. You know, they got to learn fast, and they got to use their experience now to be out there and, and to not think like a freshman. You know, when you have that experience of playing the minutes that our freshmen have, you know, should go a long way. So, yeah, I continue to go back to the video and just keep working on it in practice. You know, practice is going to have to be good, just like always, and um, just keep getting better. You know, just put another brick on the foundation and just keep building brick by brick. I mean, that's all you can do. We've got St. Francis this upcoming Saturday, a team you've already seen this season, a team that took you all the way down to the wire. You had a you know, buzzer-beating three-point shot by Megan Smith to win the game. Obviously, it's going to be a tough test on the road this Saturday. Well, it's always hard to win on the road, and we know that you know, they obviously play a certain style and things like that that, they're, you know, that they play all the time, and you know, they have their identity. And you know, I love the challenge. You know, I love the challenge. I don't care if we play at home or on the road. Um, I love the challenge of going out there and, and going against different styles and, and doing the best job we can to, to execute the game plan. So, I'm looking forward to the challenge this week of having a great week of practice and preparing and, and go out there and give it our best shot. Three straight road games. How do you prepare for that this week and next? Well, you just go one at a time. You just can't you just can't look you can't look at the big picture. I mean, it's all there and you know it's it's on the schedule, but you know, we just gotta stay focused on the next game and then after that game move forward and, and then focus on the next one. So um, you know, the fact that we got a three game road trip ahead of us, it's really gonna be real big right now that we stay mentally tough and just go one at a time. You know, have a great week of practice this week, put our best best foot forward, and uh, go out there and accept the challenge for Saturday, and you know, hopefully come away with a win. Team 9-0 and right now. Hopefully we'll talk to you when you're 12-0 and when you come back to the gym here in a couple of weeks. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. Again, Robert Morris, 9-0 in conference play with a 66-47 victory over the Central Connecticut Blue Devils. The Colonials return home two weeks from this upcoming Saturday to take on Fairleigh Dickinson, and we'll have the call for you right here on NEC Front Row. For Justin, I'm Adam. We'll talk to you then.